All right. This is well. I, I meant to for this run to be brutal hardcore, but uh, yeah, I didn't realize how much damage double damage was, uh, because that's where brutal difficulty is. But I died a lot. Uh, it was a lot more hard than I thought it was, but I feel like going, doing brutal and then going back to normal will make normal feel like so much easier. Um, it's a lot more forgiving than brutal but yeah let's uh let's roll into the clips So yeah, as you can see, I did uh did the boss a little out of order. I wanted to get tungsten ASAP so I can make a um a range or whatever it is to get shish kebabs because I had so much trouble with the swamp guardian. The the uh, little boomerangs in normal do like no damage, but in this, I mean, it's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And, yeah, I was like, I just need as much armor as I can. And even still, even with all those buffs, I still barely beat it. Like, it was, it was so tough. I, I don't, I don't know. 
So, yeah, I did everything out of order. Got shish kebabs. Um, but then... And then Vulture was pretty easy. I first time this one. Um, I think it gave him more trouble than normal, obviously, because it's getting hit. I mean, look at that, 60 damage. And I think I was, like, kind of stacking armor. But a any of the bosses that you can do at range are pretty much easier than any of the other ones. Um, uh, Reaper took me one try. I got hit with a scythe for, like, 140 damage. Like on the boomerang, and yeah, I kind of I had to concede that fight, basically. But then this next fight, it went pretty smoothly. I just needed to make sure um, to dodge his the scythe. This right here. Uh, the uh, I use a shotgun for this. I don't know what. I guess I, I guess I I use this over the. Uh, oh, I remember. I, I looked up the DPS, and this was like slightly higher DPS than the, the submachine gun that I was using. So I was like, eh, why not? The sh shotgun's cool. So I used that, and we got a scythe. So that made, on the first kill, so that made uh, that made everything pretty pretty easy. So we we got some, some upgrades, just upgrading. And then, let's, uh, yeah, I killed like 40 ninjas to get the full ninja and that took forever and that's how many crowns I got um, bought a death ripper because I didn't feel like killing a reaper again uh, uh, cryo queen was I first time this one because I think I think I took one one uh she damaged me once during the entire fight with ninja armor and death ripper you kind of just She's, her stuff's just so easy to dodge, so that was not a problem. Then I skipped Pest Warden because, well, I tried him, and it was way too hard, so I skipped him, came to Sage Grit for a Dragon Lance, got on the third kill. Uh, Dragon Lance, I mean, Sage and Grit, they gave me some trouble just because, like, any hit they do does, like, 100 damage, and you only have... Like, I only have 280 health here. So that was pretty difficult. Um, e even though, like, the kills were fast, like, you take a couple couple hits and then you're just dead. And, uh, but, yeah, I just wanted to get the Dragon Lance because Pest Warden was so difficult. Alright, Pest Warden was by far the boss that gave me the most trouble. Um... He just, some of his stuff just feels almost in die, like you, it's, uh, you can't dodge it. The Dragon Lance was uh, definitely a lifesaver, because I don't know if I could have done this with a scythe. Uh, it was so frustrating, like I, I literally just like, <laughs> I kind of just rage quit a couple times, because I mean look, I just gotta, I get hit 130 for just his head, and it's like, Sometimes the hitboxes are a little wonky, and you can't tell, like, if you're gonna... It's just so unforgiving. Uh, even the kills were kind of fast with the Dragon Lance, but it still just made it so hard. Alright. Fallen Wizard, or Fallen Mage, whatever his name is. Um, This fight, I first timed it, actually. I, uh, I wanted to get the shotgun from Pest War, but I didn't. And I didn't feel like killing it again, for obvious reasons. So I was just like, okay, well, we'll use the Venom Slasher. Uh, it worked pretty well. I don't know, does it need a nerf? Maybe. Uh, I played this fire pretty well, if I do say so. Like, uh, I dodged, I just like, I was prioritized dodging over any everything. And yeah. Pest Warden still, I think... I think even in normal mode, Pest Warden's probably the hardest boss. Uh, I could, I think it could be toned down a little bit, but it does drop really good weapons. Um, but yeah, just making sure to dodge the dra or kill the dragons, and dodging the laser, 
I didn't get by, hit by laser a single time, I think, in this fight. Um, brutal mode? It's not really enjoyable. It's like, I, like, I'm glad I, you know, said I could say I did it. But I wouldn't call it enjoyable. I mean, the challenge is nice. So, if you're looking for a challenge, I would do it. I don't think I'll ever try hardcore because... I might do hard mode hardcore, um, but I don't think I'll ever do hard. Brutal. It's it's too much. It's so unforgiving, and I don't I don't I don't even think armor even helps that much. I really don't. <laughs> 